guys welcome back to my channel sister malika here aka hidden curls coming to you with another video so today guys i did another wash and go using all of anthony dickey's products um initially um last week i was using the no suds um cleansing cream and their conditioner and the um kinky curly um cream kink kinky curling cream okay so this week what i did was i purchased his leave-in moisturizer um because i wanted to try that i had never tried to leave in moisturizer before because when i use the kinky curly by itself i can just tell that i could use a leave-in conditioner underneath that um when i did my wash and go the first two times okay so this is what you're looking at right now. My hair is about, I would say it's about 90% dry. I might have a few wet spots in the back. Um, I actually air dried and diffused. I have an issue with my hooded dryer. So I was unable to sit under the hooded dryer. And that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Okay. But um, I actually... I uh, didn't have to um, use the No Suds Cleansing Cream today, okay? Did I use the No Suds Cleansing Cream today? No. So today, I just used the conditioner, the quench, leave-in conditioner, because all I had to do was just um, condition my hair today. So I didn't use the no size cleansing um, shampoo. I just used the conditioner. And then I went in with the leave-in conditioner, which is called the leave-in moisturizer. Nourishment leave-in moisturizer. Now, this is very, it's, it's not thick, okay? Um, just to give you guys an idea, this is not thick. It's pretty, um, it's pretty, uh, very thin. Okay. It's not thick at all. Uh, so when you apply it, like when I applied it, I applied it while I was in the shower and it, it was constantly dripping. Um, so when you apply this, you have to immediately go in with whatever your styler is. Otherwise, it's just, it's runny. It just constantly runs, 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 runs. Okay. So that, that was that. Um, that's the only thing that I really didn't like about it. This would be better in, I would probably get one of my um, little applicator bottles and put this in because uh, having it in here is just, it didn't work well for me having it in this this jar here so i need a different i'm going to get an applicator bottle and put it in so that way i could just kind of like pour it in my hand instead of scooping it out because it's not thick enough to like really scoop it out it's like too runny for that but that's the only um, complaint i have about this that's the only thing that i did not like about this okay now i went in after i applied that since it was so runny i immediately went in with my kinky curling cream and that um stopped all of that leave-in conditioner from being so runny it just automatically kind of like soaked all of that up but um this is what i'm looking like okay and like i said i am pretty much dry at this point not completely dry but like 90 percent dry i have a few wet spots back here let me turn around so you can see the back of my hair that is the back of my hair, and that is what I'm looking like back there. And I'm loving it. I'm love, love, loving it. Um, I love all of his products. Like I said, the leave-in conditioner is a little runny for me. Just need to transfer that over into another um, applicator bottle, you know what I mean? And I think we should be good as far as that. Um, the quench um, conditioner is just the, the bomb, okay? Now, 
let me show you how much I've used of these products. Now, this is the third week. So, um, far as the Quench Ultra Rich Conditioner, I have used, the bottle is like right to here now, and that's three weeks, okay? Now, keep in mind, I did not do every single day. Um, the first week, I did a couple days. The second week, I only did a couple days. And um, hopefully this week, I can get through the entire week. Um, the first couple of weeks, it was just a lot going on. There was no way I can shampoo every day. Well, it wasn't shampoo, but, you know, condition every day. Now, also, I want to say, I am personally don't think I'm going to be doing it every day. Although I like, when, like my results when I do it every day. Because the most, for the last couple of weeks, I've done it like um, maybe three days straight in a row. Okay, and you can see the difference in your curls. I mean, it's just amazing how your curls just looks better and better and better. Each day that you do this method, your curls just looks better. Your hair feels so hydrated. So I can surely, um, one thing for sure is this method here, if you are trying to become hydrated, this is this is the method you know what i mean because you are constantly putting that water in your hair and this these with these products it, i mean you just can't go wrong okay now i love 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 i love i love all his products I, you know just to be honest i love his products um the i just ordered um two other things that well, one, uh, I ordered the mousse, okay? So that's about the only thing that I didn't have was the mousse. And I tried the curly whip before, but I can't remember um, what my results was with the curly whip. So I put an order in for the curly whip and the, um, the mousse, okay? Because I think that those two probably would go well together, the curly whip with the mousse on top. Not sure, but I want to do a combo. Also, I want to say... The only thing um, that I didn't like is when I attempted to put a topper on it, um, I tried to put my mop top on top of the curly whip and it gave me a little, it, it looked nice, but um, it gave me a little flaking a couple days later. Uh, and that's when I went into the like two or three days because I was going out of town. So uh, like a couple days, I was a couple days in and um, it started flaking. So I don't know if the flaking was from the combo or the flaking was from the Kinky Curly Cream. But this week, it's the um, leave-in conditioner. I'll be using a leave-in conditioner with the Kinky Curly Cream and hopefully the, um, the mousse will come this week. Hopefully the mousse and the... Um, the curly whip so I can try those two products. So it looks like what the other thing is what I want to do is I want to do um some different combos um using the no suds but for the month here's the thing for the rest of the month for a shampoo and conditioner this is it this is all I'm going to be using is the no suds cleansing cream and the um quench conditioner that's it for shampoo and conditioning my hair. I'm going to stick with those two because I really need to see what's going on with my hair and I want to see how my hair acts. I want to actually try to do it for the next couple months um, if possible because we get ready going to November and in December I go back to the stylist so she can take a look at my hair and see if she see a change. It's getting better or worse. So that gives me plenty of time to... Uh, see what this product does and see what she sees when I go. So that will just definitely be the determining factor if I will keep using these products or not. Once she um, assesses my hair, when I go back in December, then I'll know whether or not I'm going to stick with this method or um, just move on to something different. Okay. Also, I want to, once the curly whip comes, I want to try, uh, 
twist out. So if that comes this week, then what I what I want to do this week is I want to keep going with this method. I want to try to, since I'm in all week, I, I work from home, so I can sit here with wet hair, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead on and the rest all week long, I'm going to do my wash and goes, okay? And next week, by next week, I should have all the products to do a twist out, okay? Because according to Dickie, um, if you do this method, the wash and go, all week long, like every day, every day, you're constantly hydrating your hair, that prepares you for your protective style the following week if you decide that that's what you want to do. It prepares you for that, and your hair should have enough moisture to go into that protective style and have that protective style for five days, five to seven days, okay? So we're going to see what if we can make it do what it do. So look, guys, tell me what you think. I love, love, love it. I think I like this kinky um, curling cream better with the leave-in conditioner. I can definitely see the difference in my results when I layered it, when I went in with the kinky, with the um, leave-in moisturizer, okay? So that those two definitely um, go well together, okay? So look, guys, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and tell your girl what you think. Have you tried the Dickie products yet? Are you interested in trying this method? Now, I know we'd have been on a lot of methods, okay? But this one is not harmful, hopefully. I mean, I did it before, years, two years ago when I first started uh, my journey. So, and I didn't have a problem. My hair was thriving, my hair was fine, okay? So here we are again, we're gonna revisit, okay? And see if, you know, if I have any problems or not. So, I mean, new journey, new experience, starting over. So, we're going to see if we can make it do what it do. We'll try to get some more of that hair back on my head. Okay? Because <laughs> I don't want no more cuts. No more cuts. No more cuts. All right, guys. Comment down below and tell your girl what you think. Peace. I'm out.